we actually are going to Oh. Hi, I'm Jenny Mai, Mashable's tech reporter, and this is Beauty Hacked, where we're digging into the science and tech that makes beauty innovation exciting. Today, we get to play around with the Yves Saint Laurent Rouge Sur Masseur. YSL lipstick maker actually debuted at CES 2020, but at the time it was introduced as the Perso and it was a device for creating custom skincare. The Perso was supposed to use AI to analyze your skin while connecting to an app using your phone's camera and then recommend and dispense the appropriate skincare for whatever skin issues you may be having. In the current iteration, the YSL lipstick maker will actually analyze your outfit. You can use it to try on various colors before it spits out a custom shade of lipstick. When you order the YSL lipstick maker, this is what you get. This is the box that it comes in and the actual device looks like this. Not super crazy looking, honestly. It kind of just looks like a black can of sorts, um, but this is what will actually be spitting out the lipstick. The motors live in here um, and you will load some color cartridges in here, um, which we'll get to in a second. It also comes with this cute little compact. So this will attach to the top part of the lipstick maker itself. It's got the nice YSL luxury branding on there. Whatever the lipstick maker spits out will collect in this little pool right here. And you have a nice little mirror as well. So if you want, you can take it with you. It can be portable. Take it with you to an event where you might have to touch up the custom lipstick that you're wearing. You also get the charger, which not super exciting, but very important. Nothing crazy, a USB end, a USB-C other end. And you get the brush that you will be using to actually apply your lipstick. The brush itself should be retractable, yep. It'll pop out, which is really nice for sanitary purposes. If you're tossing it in a bag or something, it's not gonna collect all of the random dust that always appears at the bottom of a bag. And it's supposed to be magnetic. Haha, -ha. it's not magnetic all the way around, but it is magnetic in this specific spot. It wiggles a little bit, that's kind of fun. Um, so that's nice if you're leaving this on your vanity or your dresser or wherever, and you wanna just know where the brush will be at all times, you can attach it to the actual physical device. And if you're making it into a portable thing, you can just take the brush off, bring it with your compact, and you're ready to go. All of that costs $299. So it's not cheap, it's not a cheap device, but is it worth it to be able to make all the custom lipsticks you could possibly want? Maybe. But keep in mind that to actually make the lipsticks, you also have to purchase the separate color cartridges. So these are the four color families, we'll call them, that YSL has available for the lipstick maker currently. Um, you can create custom lipsticks in shades of red, pink, nude, or orange. So each box has three color cartridges in them to um, make the custom shade of nude or pink or red or orange, and each box costs $89. So, when you're buying all of it together, you're gonna have to choose how much you're willing to spend on this whole thing, because it's not exactly a cheap process. But, we get to try it out and we're gonna see if it's worth that price. Look at all these colors! We have so many to work with. The first mode that we're going to try out is this crazy color matching mode. So I have a couple of red objects, as you can see, and to test it out, we are gonna see if we can perfectly color match both a red rose and a nice juicy red strawberry. So let's check out this app and see what it's all about. Press the front button of your device three times rapidly until button turns blue. It will be automatically detected by your phone. Okay. One, two, three. Aha, it turned blue. Ah! Wow. How to load the cartridges. Got it. It says to unscrew the bottom of this and there are helpful arrows. I'm so bad at this. I feel like I'm gonna break it every time. Ah! Okay, it's secure, let me tell you that. 
Um, and there are three holes in the bottom, very obvious where the cartridges need to go. So let's do that. So those are in, I'm gonna put this back on. Those are going to match up with these and I believe it's magnetic. So you don't actually, yeah, you don't have to worry about lining it up yourself. We're gonna try this red rose and see what it's all about. Gorgeous. We love a pretty red rose, a classic color really. And I don't think I could say that I confidently have a lipstick that perfectly matches the color of a red rose. Take in a photo, nice. Oh, and then I can move a little dot in the app to a specific area of the rose. As you can see, there are kind of like different shades of red within the rose, so I can pick it. Um, I think I'm gonna do what looks like the truest color to me. It does look a little bit different on the app than it does in person. Oh, interesting. So it does say the target shade and the closest shade. So it's not claiming to create the exact same color that I picked with this rose. It's just saying, this is the closest color that we can make to this rose. I appreciate the honesty, honestly. <laughs> if it was just like, yes, we can make anything, I would believe it a little bit less, but it says that it's just the closest it can get. So let's try it. Oh, it automatically takes me into automatic try on. That's fun. So I can see it on myself. I kind of like it. It's a nice shade of red and this is nice because I can see it on myself and if I didn't like it, I'm not gonna waste my product by making it. But I do like it and honestly, I'm impressed at how well it's figuring out where my lips are. Okay, cartridge calibration. Whoa! Okay, it did just spit out some color, but I think that was just the calibration. Yep, it says calibration complete. Please clean the dish before making your first shade. Okay, try it on. Yes, create, there we go. Was that it? That was deeply underwhelming. It was just one little color that popped out. I didn't even get all three. Maybe it's just because the color that I chose happens to be really close to that one cartridge. I guess it's time to try it on. Do we think it looks like a red rose? Honestly, I don't think I'm convinced here. So, I don't really think so. I feel like the rose is a much deeper red, whereas this is more of like a, a bright red. I suppose we should try it with the strawberries and see if it'll spit out a different shade. Let's pick out the juiciest reddish strawberry we possibly can. This guy looks really good, gorgeous. So red, so juicy, and I hope that it comes out exactly as I see it here. So I'm holding it up to the camera. Let me find some good light. That looks pretty accurate to me personally, as close as I can get it. So I'm gonna hit confirm. Shade found. Okay, this time it didn't even say that it was the closest match. Like this is the shade. So I, I have high expectations. We're gonna hit create. Once again, I'm only getting one color. Maybe I'm just picking specific, oh. They're not coming out. It is trying to spit out three different colors. I don't think it was my fault. I think I'm snapping it on in the right position here. Oh, I guess there is a little bit that came out, but it doesn't look like nearly as much as this wanted to spit out. I feel like I should scoop some of this up and put it into the, the compact and see if that makes a better color. I have to take this existing lipstick off. I wonder how well it's gonna come off. Some lipsticks stay on me for days, even when I use makeup remover. It came off pretty well, which makes me wonder how well it would stay on if I were to wear this. Let's try on the shade that's supposed to be the color of a strawberry. When it's all mixed together like this, I kind of like it. I think this one's a little bit closer to a strawberry than the red rose shade was. We're going to use the color match function once again to see if it can match one of YSL's very own lipsticks. But first we do have to take out the red cartridges and load in the pink. So once again, I have to open this bottom part that I am objectively bad at doing. Ha ha. 
more success than the first time. Um, there are these nice little buttons that you can just pr press and they will pop out with no warning, apparently. So just be prepared. There we go. Taking a photo of it. It says shade found. Your color match has been found in the nude color universe. We're gonna create it. Okay, it only came out of one side. I was a little worried that it was getting clogged, but I guess it's just one shade. There's literally nothing to be mixed. I'm so annoyed. I'm gonna try on this actual lipstick on one half of my lips and then the lipstick that just came out of the lipstick maker on the other half and see how well it compares side by side. That's on half of my lips. This looks crazy. It's pretty close, but to me, I can see the difference especially when they're side by side on my lips. I think this side is a little bit darker. Um, this is the side that the Rouge Sore Masseur spit out. And this is the side that I used with the actual lipstick, but they're pretty dang close. Like I think if you were just passing by, you wouldn't be like, this girl's wearing two different colors of lipstick right now. The last mode that we're going to try out is a mode on the app that will actually look at my outfit and suggest a lipstick color based on what I'm wearing using any of the cartridge sets that we have. So this outfit's a little basic, white top, blue jeans, not a lot to work with. Let's put on a couple crazier colors. Let's do an outfit change. There it is, new outfit, new look. We got a lot of colors going on, so I hope it won't be super obvious what it will suggest. Selfie snapped. Position two pins on your outfit, okay. Oh, interesting, so the pins, will latch onto a color in my outfit. So it's, I'm almost choosing what color I want since I'm putting the pin on a specific color. I'm gonna hit confirm and it's finding the perfect shade to complete my look. A nude, an orange, a red, and a darker nude. I don't like orange lipstick, so we'll see how that goes. She's clean, she's calibrated. We're making this orange shade that it's telling me that I should wear with this outfit. It's supposed to match, so create it now. Once again, it has only spit out one color, so that's annoying. One thing I do notice is that I never use the full amount that's dispensed, regardless of how much is dispensed. Probably just because I have smaller lips. Maybe if I had more surface area to cover, I would actually use that whole amount. This orangey shade, honestly, I think is the least pigmented shade that I've tried, which is interesting. I don't hate it. I don't love it. It's kind of like a peachy, almost pink orange tone to me. It's fun. I like that it let me try a different color that I normally wouldn't try, but I wouldn't pick this. Even though I can see the argument for why it would match what I'm wearing, you know? We're gonna try on one last outfit change, a little less color, a little less crazy, and see what the app can suggest in that case. Let's do it. Ready? Flipping that camera, taking a selfie, placing our pins. All right, once again, it is suggesting an orange shade. We know how that went last time. A pink shade, I do love a pink. And on the clashing side, a darker orange and a darker pink. Let's actually try on this pink set. I will say it is super responsive. Literally, as soon as I tap it, that whirring noise that you hear kicks in. That does not look the same to me, but maybe it'll look different once I actually put it on. Okay. I thought it would be pinker, but I do kind of agree that it looks good with the purple. It's kind of fun seeing what AI will suggest based on what I'm wearing. Overall, the Rouge Sur Masseur is a cool device, but if I'm being completely honest, I could not use this in my everyday life. If you're a makeup artist, if you're someone who really wants to have the ability to try on a bunch of different new lipsticks, this is a really awesome device that is absolutely worth trying out. But if you're someone who just likes to swipe on a lipstick and go, or you have a bunch of lipsticks that you already like and you know that you like them, it's not really worth trying out all of these different colors just to play with the cool tech. The tech itself is so awesome. The motor's whirring, the way it connects to the app, the, all of the different modes on the app are super duper impressive. And I would love to see it develop into what it was originally pitched as with a skincare device. If the app could actually read my skin and diagnose my skin and spit out my skincare, I think that takes it above and beyond and addresses a whole different problem. But as it is with lipstick, 
The alternative to it is just regular lipstick. And personally, in my daily routine, regular lipstick, it checks the box. It does what I need it to. If you're going to invest in this thing, it takes a little bit of practice, it takes a little bit of mess, and it takes a lot of willingness to clean up. But hey, life's a little messy, and it's a lot more fun if you let it be a little bit messy every now and then. For more tech, entertainment, culture, social good, and of course, beauty tech innovation content, make sure you keep following along with us right here at Mashable.